You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below, and be sure to smash that like button. Joined in studio now by Elijah Haven from the Dunham School. Man, you've gotten a lot of attention here the past few weeks. How are you, man? Thanks for coming up. I'm very good. Uh, you know, 4-0 and in the season. You know, team's looking great, so just happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, well, it's our pleasure. Thanks for making the effort. So you had practice today. Yeah, I did. So you all had practice and you rolled right over. Yep. So who do you have tomorrow? Uh, we have Baker. Baker Buffalo's uh, first district game, so super excited. So I was told to ask how sad you are that, uh, that Mrs. Terrio retired. Pretty sad. Uh, she was definitely a big part of me coming to Dunham. Um, you know, she was one of the first people I met, and uh, you know, it was history from there. Uh, yeah. She was a great teacher in middle school, and uh, she really just was a big part of the reason I came to Dunham. Yeah, Mar Mary Terrio, that's Ryan's mom. For those that don't know, of course, and she just retired after a long run at the Dunham School. She's a pretty awesome lady. So uh, we're glad to have you in here as well, man. Um, I want to ask, you know, you you've kind of, I mean, you were starting as a freshman. That's rare to say the the very least. Did you always like when when you're still a young guy, but when did you realize like, man, I'm I'm really good? Uh I guess first game against Parkview. Um, you know, pretty good game, I guess. Uh it was just uh I came into the game going cool, calm and collected. You know, I prepared very well and uh it was just you know, I was just kinda in a flow. Um, you know, I wasn't very nervous or anything. Uh, but kind of that first game, just having all the confidence and my preparation and the way I prepared, um, you know, uh, I learned from Jackson House, the quarterback mm -hmm. the year before. Um, he was a great aspect. And, uh, you know, what I learned at the quarterback position uh, going into my freshman year, but just kind of having the confidence in myself and holding myself to a high standard. How old are you? 15. Dang, dude. You should be sitting here. Like, we should be, we should switch, right? I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I would never play quarterback and be that athletic. You should be here. 15. It's amazing. Did uh, like did you dominate youth sports like, when you were younger? Like when, yeah, you're six four, six four, so, six five. God bless your mom too, because she has to buy clothes for you. So, well, how did you? When did you start to grow? Uh, I've always been like the tallest in my class for sure. Um, I, I guess it was kind of continuous. I, it wasn't like I you was never really short. One big yeah, spurt. it was never really one big spurt. Damn. I've always kind of just been the tallest in my class. Um, what do you love basketball as well? Yeah. Yeah, so like, what do, what do you what do you play basketball or what what position do you play? I mean, pretty much everywhere. Um, you know, I could play the point, but you know, they also need me. You know, I'm a, one of the tallest guys on the team, so they need me to get down there, play down low, get rebounds. So like, whatever the team needs, I got it. So when you're six four, like they're gonna say, "Hey, big guy, go rebound on the ball." Like <laughs> yeah. you want to be bringing up the ball, taking your shots. But I get it. Um, so how do you? Uh, let's walk through. What a um, kind of like what a, a day is like for you. So you're 15. You're a high school sophomore. You're the starting quarterback at Dunham. You're four and zero. Play basketball as well. What what is a day like for Elijah now, who's gotten all this recruiting attention as well? So like start just start me through what a normal day is like for you. A uh, normal day. Get up. Uh, get ready. Usually um, during the week, I meet with uh, our OC coach Jeff Han uh, every morning. Just kind of see what the other uh, opponent is doing uh, defensively wise and, um, you know, just kind of see how we can uh, offensively uh, the best plays for us to run that week, um, meet with him in the morning. And then I have school from about 8 to 3.15. Then we have practice for about two and a half hours. Then I go, go, to, go home, then uh, homework, and then uh, shower and try to get into bed about 10, 10.30. Man. So you have a really full day at this point already. Does does recruiting add to that? Like, I'm always curious because I know when there's contact periods, coaches can text you or call you. Like, has that added more onto your plate? A little bit, a little bit. Um, you know, I'm always talking to coaches. Um, I actually uh, talked to a Michigan coach after this. So, um, you know, recruiting has been, you know, a very good blessing for me, and I'm very thankful for all the coaches that have uh, looked into me, um, but that's definitely added a little bit to my play. But, you know, I'm just honored uh, to, you know, be able to talk to these coaches and build great relationships yeah. with them. What was it like, because um, it was recently that I believe it was on three or maybe it was 24-7, who named you number one for 2027. It's a long way away, obviously. But you see that. What's your thought when you see something like that pop up? Um, I feel like it's easy to get a big head after you see something like that, but, you know, just trying to stay humble and, uh 
thank God for all that he's done for me and thank my parents for, you know, supporting me through all of this and uh, just kind of stay grounded um, through all this. You know, it's easy to, you know, lose sight of yourself and, you know, um, start bragging about, you know, you're the number one player, but, you know, just kind of stay humble and uh, thank God for all that. Yeah. Um, to be in this position in the first place. Has that, by the way, did you know that you were going to be, like, did they tell you beforehand? They did. They did. So who, so who, they called you or met? Or yeah, did, they called me. They called me. Who yeah. was it? Do you remember? Um, it's I okay think, if not. I don't remember, but uh, Tom Loy from 24-7, um, he was a big part in this. Uh, I think he's like the Southern recruiter. You know, he looks into all the guys in the South. So um, he was a big part in this, but I don't remember exactly who called me. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. No, uh, you know, it's, uh, so whenever that happened and it went out, like I would imagine like your social media probably blew up. Um, I would imagine more coaches started calling you. So what, walk me through that whenever that news did break, what that was like for you? Uh, it was pretty crazy. Uh, social media was definitely blowing up. Um, coaches, uh, you know, I, I actually, I think after the ranking came out, Auburn con started contacting so, um, you know, it was just a full cycle. You know, social media was blowing up, Instagram, Twitter. And then, you know, obviously the recruiting part, you know, coaches, you know, they hear the, about the number one player. They obviously want to try to, you know, get to know him and build a relationship with him. So, um, yeah, it was it was definitely a crazy process. Yeah. Elijah Haven is in studio with us, Dunham School, uh, number one quarterback in the country for 2027. Um, is it is it distract? Is is the recruiting piece distracting as you're in the middle of a season? And you talked about man, you're meeting with your off offensive coordinator, your four and zero. Um, we had a great game against St. Charles Catholic uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, is is it is it distracting? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. I definitely say a little bit. Um, you know, I try not to lose you know focus on what's really important. And that's the team. But you know, it can definitely creep in. You know, with social media being such a big outlet in the world now, and uh, you know. I just try to, you know, stay away from it as much as I can, um, not let it get to my mind because, you know, I don't want to, you know, let it distract me from my the way I play the game. So, um, you know, just kind of staying away from it and, um, you know, being the best player I can. Yeah. Um, do whenever football season ends, you're going to play basketball again as well. So have you – I know it's, it's weird we look through this prism, Elijah, because we talk about – we talk about recruiting and you talk about guys and you think about you hear locally through an LSU perspective or whatever, you lose sight of the fact that it's a long way to go for you still till whenever you sign and get to college. I mean, you just started your sophomore year. So like, do you want to continue playing basketball your your entire high school career? Do you think there's a, a point where you do specialize? I think there's a point where I do specialize, but um, definitely this year and probably next year, I'm going to stick it out playing basketball. Um, I started loving basketball when I was about eight years old. So, you know, it's just something I love to do, so I'm going to definitely continue to play. Um, I think around senior year, um, I'll maybe make a decision of what sport I really wanted to play. But right now, just enjoying the moments, uh, you know, in high school and, you know, taking it full throttle. Who's your favorite team? Uh, basketball? Yeah. Uh, Pels. Okay. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Elijah Haven, noted Pelicans fan. Thank you. Dude, if I had to hear another young person around here say, Oh, I love Steph. I'm a Warrior fan. Like, no! We got a home team, man. Let's go. Flock up, right? Yeah. Let's get it, man. How do you think they're going to be this year? You excited about Jante? Yeah, very. Um, I was a big Zion fan when he was in Duke. I'm a Duke fan, so yeah. when Zion was in Duke, I, I, You're not going to Duke to play football. I will not allow it. <laughs> I refuse to allow that. Mom, I won't allow that. I mean, if you get into Duke, well, you could get into Duke, I'm sure. I couldn't get into Duke. But if you can get into Duke, that ain't bad. No, so go ahead. Sorry, you're saying you're a big Zion fan? Yeah, big Zion fan. Um, you know, I followed him. He was in high school, so big Pels fan. Yeah, man. Let's go, dude. That fires me up. You know, there's nothing worse than like watching the Lakers come in to the Smoothie King Center yeah. and just seeing all these Lakers. I'm like, that, that ain't people coming in from LA. Yeah. That's the dude that lives on College Drive driving <laughs> down there to go to go wear Lakers jersey. Come on, y'all. I'm very pleased to be joined in studio by Elijah Haven, Dunham School quarterback, class of twenty twenty seven quarterback, major national recruit now. Uh the the scouting services came out, have him as the number one quarterback. For 2027, he's right here in Baton Rouge at uh, at the Dunham School. Um, I got to ask the question that everybody here is going to want to want to know about: Are did you grow up an LSU fan? Are you Pretty are you much. an LSU fan? Yeah, yeah I did, I did. Yeah. So, what um, have you got to meet Brian Kelly or any of the staff yet? I have. Yeah, I'm, I've talked to Coach Kelly a little bit, and then um, most of my talks and conversations I've been with Coach Sloan. Yeah. What are, what have been your impressions of? Uh, and I, I love Joe Sloan, by the way. Just 
full disclosure. What have been your impressions of uh, of Joe? Uh, coach Sloan. Great coach. Um, you know, he tries to get to know my family, you know, and me as a person, not just me as an athlete and a football player. So I definitely appreciated that from him. But um, he started recruiting me about last year. So um, we've um, been building a great relationship ever since. You know, he checks up on me, wants to know how I'm doing um, on and off the field. So um, just a great coach. Um, I would love to pray for him for one day and um, looking to keep building the relationship. Yeah. You get to go. Uh, you were in Tiger Stadium a few weeks back. You were there for the UCLA game, right? I was. When it was about 176 <laughs> degrees on the field. You were down on the field before the game. Was it as hot on the field as they said it was? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah it was yeah, one of those absolutely. days. Yeah, it was. So even if you're from here, you still never quite get used to that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that was that heat was a little aggressive. Um, but what's it like uh, for you as, as a kid, like from the Baton Rouge area, to get to go down on the field and be there as a recruit? Yeah, um, just I guess you could say a dream come true. You know, you grow up watching – LSU and, you know, players like Joe Burrow and Jaden Daniels. And, you know, it's just um, a blessing to be in, a, to have an opportunity to be a recruit now and, you know, to be able to go see coaches like go Joe Sloan and uh, Coach Kelly. And I'm just very thankful to God and, you know, for putting me in this position. Um, everything, uh, I'm just thankful for everything he's blessed me with, really. Um, you grow up as a little kid watching and to be in this position now, I'm just – Extremely grateful. They, um, you got a formal offer this past week, right? I saw you tweet that. So uh, was that? How did they do that? Did Coach Sloan call you off? How did that? How I was that actually happen? at a because we played on Thursday at Central yeah. Catholic, and I was actually at a football game, uh, Dutchtown, and um, he gave me the call, and he was just telling me how proud he was. Um, he said we did it right. You know, we didn't rush into, you know, him offering me or anything like that. But we built a great relationship, and he just said he was honored to offer me, and I was just, you know, I was ecstatic. <laughs> Very cool, man. By the way, that the game against St. Charles, uh, you had a pretty significant play to win that game. For those, was it fifty-five yard or was it longer than that? The touchdown um, run. Um, I think it was sixty-five. Forgive me, I shorted him ten yards. Sixty-five yard touchdown run to to win the game against a team that's been a perennial dome team there in St. Charles Catholic. So, congrats on that. That's that's awesome. Um, have you have you made any other visits at this point? Like, are you even starting that process? I have. Um, I actually was just in Bama. Or the Bama Georgia game last week, so that was just a great game to be a part of How for wild. sure. <laughs> yeah, man, that what a wild environment that was. Like, do you are you building relationships already with with class of twenty twenty seven guys? Like, because yeah. I would imagine now, I don't, have you started doing camps and like elite yeah, camps and stuff like that? Yep. So, who are some of the guys that maybe you're getting to know a little bit, either from here or or uh, other? Um, Trent Seaborn uh, from Alabama. You know, he he was at LSU. Um, versus USL, UCLA, and then he was also at Bama versus Georgia. So it was, you know, definitely one of those guys. Uh, Mark Bowen, um, out of um, Bow Men, out of uh, Modern Day he, in L.A. It um, mm. was a tight end. I met at Bama. Uh, Trey Taylor, uh, he's out of, I want to say, Illinois or Michigan. Um, he, he also got an uh, offer from LSU on Friday. So um, definitely some guys in the 2027 class I'm starting to build some relationships yeah. with. How many – formal offers do you have right now eight eight formal offers do um numbers obviously going to go go up a lot um you know it's when we talk about like you as a prospect i mean you're six how how much do you weigh 210 so you're six four two ten as a 15 year old so you're gonna keep growing by the way like if doctors like project like you know they can do the growth projecting if they told you how big they think you're gonna be i think i'm about done okay should be about done. I hope so for your mom too. She just keep buying you shoes every year. So like as as a parent, like you know that it's like, man, you can stop growing anytime now. Like because every every year I got to buy you a new wardrobe. Um, so uh, have you thought about like physically, how where you feel like you physically need development? Um, in terms of physically, uh, I feel like I'm pretty good right now. Uh, just continue to grow into my body. Um, continue to, in terms of football, continue to sharpen my mechanics, throwing wise. Um, you know, there's definitely some throws last week I wanted back. So just continue to get better in that. Um, but physically, I feel pretty good. Um, 6'4, 210. Yeah. Can't really. No, no kidding, <laughs> man, right? Uh, that's what, you know, I'll ask guys that sometimes. Like, I talked to, uh, to Harlan Berry on the show a couple of weeks back, 
he was talking about that. You know, he doesn't. Want, he's one of his great assets is that his speed and his quickness. Mm-hmm. He's like, I don't want to gain too much weight and lose right. the speed. I get that. So, but when you're six four two ten, probably might, might be might be set there. But so you mentioned some of the throws you want back. Is that like like physical development, accuracy, or is that awareness? Like, what are those types of things when you said sharpening your skills? Um, I feel like it's like a play with you know uh, physical and mental. Um, you know. Obviously, like reads and knowing where you're going with the football, so you're able to make an accurate throw. And then physically, you know, um, training and getting your mechanics, so you, it's, it becomes muscle memory. You know, um, making those throws and you know feeling it. And um, so, like when it's time for the game, it's just really just muscle memory and natural for you. Do you think seven on seven helps that? Uh, I say a little bit. Um, I say seven on seven a little bit, especially for me. I can get. A little la- lackadaisical with uh, my footwork, and I kind of just, you know, with no rush, you don't really have to move in the pocket or anything. Mm. But um, definitely, uh, 707 definitely helps um, with seeing those throws and making those accurate types of throws. Yeah, that's really interesting. I didn't think about that. Yeah. So, with no pass rush, you just, you can just kind of like set back and be, right. be confident in the yeah. throw, maybe not focus on some of those mechanics. We got a little more than a minute remaining, though. Um, what's if I ask you kind of like what you think is next, like for the rest of this football season, obviously hoping Dunham goes undefeated and wins a state championship, right? But um, what what is kind of like, are you are you playing basketball yet or will you start basketball whenever the, the football season ends? Yeah, I'll start whenever the football season ends. Uh, hope, hoping that's in December, obviously. Um, I want to go to state. Um, but just continue to grind with the team, um, continue to build relationships, uh, just, just having fun this season, uh, you know, enjoying my sophomore season. It's been fun so far, 4-0, so looking to keep going. Saints fan? Oh, no. You, were, you had me with the Pels. All right, who we got in the, in the, in the NFL? Uh, my dad's from Georgia, so. Okay, don't tell me Falcons. Falcons. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. This was going so well. No, thank Wait, so, Mom, why don't you listen to your mom? Oh, no, my dad just How? pulled me aside, I guess. How? The Falcons? The Falcons have never won anything, Elijah, <laughs> ever. They blew a 28-3 lead in the Super Bowl. They did. There ain't even any real Falcons fans anywhere, man. More Saints fans in the in Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Ebony, we got to work on that. He's, he's basically perfect. Y'all did a great job except for that. Except for that. Elijah, Elijah this was a lot of fun, man. Thank you for coming up. Absolutely. Really appreciate it. Elijah me. Haven. Uh, just follow him on all the social channels and stuff. Hopefully we catch up again down the road. We appreciate you for coming in. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.